and I'm passionate for the Korean flavors I grew up with in the States. In this series, I'm traveling back An to An easy South scallop and spring onion pancake, perfect for sharing. And mussels, given a Korean kick with Wow, we have baby octopus here? Yeah, yeah, we gotta get a couple of them, huh? Yeah, you can eat these right out of the tank. Oh, they're Look, right. here. Yeah. So, should we get some uh, rock cod? I so, don't know rock cod too much. What is, what is... Well, it's got like a white sort of white sort of texture. It. Just grab a piece, um, dip it in a little bit of the soy sauce. Pick out your fish and yeah. then take it to a restaurant and have it cook it up for you. It's true. And don't forget to add your salt. And in order for it not to stick, I'm going to make a little snowflake and right through Child's the fish. Play. And this is going to taste absolutely delicious when it's done. And so I'm just going to place it on my Because we like things a little bit spicy. And leave it out if you want to. You don't have to add it in. Wow, I just got hit by a gorgeous smell of ginger the, um, the square shape yeah what kind of oil does she use to cook it in? Oh, yeah. Spring yeah I think that's great <laughs> yeah <Okay. laughs> Stunning recipes inspired by my travels later I'm at the beach eating the freshest of seafood scissors just cutting these through adjust according to your taste and I like to use red and green chili not too thick, but not too thin. They're best served when they're piping hot and nice and crispy still. Get a good. I'll start out with one of these, because this is just ginormous. Okay. <laughs> this Kijoge. is Kijoge. And then we'll... Amazing. Some fresh, good quality chicken stock. Have to make a curry. And I like to serve my mussels with sticky rice instead of a baguette. I think it works well.